Hi guys, welcome to the video and in this video I'm going to be talking about data analysis on TEDx uh, data set. So just want to give you a brief introduction what uh, we are going to do in this uh, tutorial. So first of all I want to tell you what is data uh, what is data science or data analysis. So I'm just going to read a definition. Data analysis is an internal organizational function performed by data analyst that is more than merely presenting numbers and figures to the management it requires much more in depth approach for recording analyzing and dissecting the data and present the findings in an easy digestible format so that is nothing but data analysis so for this tutorial we are going to use pandas right we are going to use seaborn and um, we are going to uh, find or we going to answer a lot of interesting questions we are going to answer questions like uh, as follow which video has the maximum views so from the 12000 rows which video has the maximum views we're going to answer that what is the name of that uh, ted talk right we're going to answer that so then we'll answer what are the top most uh, talk that has maximum views and comments we're going to answer that what are the uh, what are the top most ted talks which has maximum comments maximum views right we're going to do that now we we are going to do a very interesting analysis how many ted talks took place each year so we want to plot a graph something like this which will tell you every year the ted talk is increasing so so we'll extract the data right the unix time stamp then we want to see in which month uh, the maximum ted talks are usually held so we're going to do analysis and we f we'll find that in the month of february maximum ted talks are organized so you're going to learn that as well we want to see from the data set who is the person who gave maximum ted talks who is a person who conducted so many lectures so we found out that and here are the result he took nine ted talks so far and so on so we are going to uh, answer all of these question using uh, pandas and um, uh, we're going to visualize the data set using seaborn so i hope you will enjoy this tutorial so stay tuned with me and let's get started with the tutorial series Right. Welcome to the video. Welcome to the data science with Saumil Shah using Python, Seaborn and Pandas. So let's get started. So we are going to do a huge analysis on the TED Talk uh, data set. So I want to thank uh, the PyCon 2019 videos that helped me to get a better understanding about uh, this. So let's get started. So the first step would be, uh, the, by the way, the entire notebook is also there on my GitHub account. I try to organize each and everything step by step for you so you understand stuff. So. So the first step we want to do is basically want to import all the libraries. We want to read the data set. So the first step in any data analysis is you want to have an idea about the data set. So here you can see we have a columns uh, following rows and columns. So we have something known as comments. So how many total comments, description of that uh, TED talk, duration in seconds, event. Then we have the film date, right? So it's essentially a timestamp. We have a language, right? We have a main speaker, the name of the main speaker. We have the name, what he actually presented, so name of the number of speakers, published date, so we, again we have a timestamp when it was published, we have the ratings, related talks, speaker occupation, what he does, tags, titles, and URL and views, so that's all we have. So we're going to do a huge data analysis on this, so let's see uh, what we're going to do. So first of all, understand a data set, so I do a df.describe, so it tells me about the mean uh, the the mean, the max, uh, and the stuff like that. Then you want to do a df.info. This tells you all uh, that how many columns or rows are there. So 17 columns, and we have about 2,550 rows, and the type of the rows. So we have int 64, which means it's an integer. Object means it can be string, it can be dictionary, tuple, whatever, just an object. So we don't know, have much information on that. So that's what it's saying. So I'm going to say df dot is na dot sum. This will tell me if there is any na value. So here you can see. So there I can see uh, in the speaker occupation column, there are some values missing right now. So this is what it is telling me. Visualize the data. So I'm just going to say sns dot plot. And so I'm going to say sns dot pair plot and, and just pass the data frame. This is going to do a quick, uh, a huge um, uh, plot. And you can just have a complete idea about it. So you can zoom and read it, you know duration we have a duration versus uh film in months months then we have so on you can read it uh, for your analysis stuff we want to see a nice distribution of um, this is the distribution of the comments so this shows how the comments are distributed so here you can see it starts from 0 to 10000 i mean 1000 scale so 
essentially the distribution scale. Similarly, the distribution scale of duration. Step two, answering question. So the first question that is, which talk has maximum comments? So if you want to do that, so you have to say df dot comments, and from that df dot comments, you want the maximum, right? And you want to grab the entire data frame. So essentially, all of that is wrapped inside that, and you want the URL. So I I want this column essentially. So this will give me the URL, right? This is the URL. Or if I don't want to do that, um, what I can do? So this is the uh, this is the guy who gave the TED talk with the maximum comments, right? Similarly, which video has maximum views? So this guy has maximum views. I have also added a nice conclusion. You can read it. So this is as simple. I've 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 done each and everything step by step. You just need to read. That's all. Don't watch this video. Try to actually do it because uh, unless you go, you are gonna practice it, you are not going to get it. That's what I, I want to say. That's how I, I learned it. So that's the next question is what are the topmost uh, topmost talk that the maximum views and comments. So this is kind of a little tricky. So what I do is df dot sort values and I want to sort the comments column. So when we actually run the sort, uh, it actually sorts with ascending, right? So I'm going to grab, uh, so if it's ascending at the bottom section, we have the maximum, right? So we're going to say dot tail. So these are the top uh, five uh, stuff with the maximum comments. So the top five TED Talks who got maximum comments. Similarly, we can do for maximum view as well. These are the top five TED Talks which got maximum views. Which talk provoked the most online discussion? So this can be a little complicated. So what I try to do is basically I take the views divided by column. So I get the number. So what this number represent is basically uh, this number tells you that on let's say let me just show you one of them. So for this TED talk it says 450. So that means on every 450 view there is there is going to be one person commenting on that. So out of every 450 person. So essentially that. And after that I sort the values and I take the tail. Uh, sorry I take the head. So which is going to give me the essentially which talk provokes the most online discussion right so this is how i do that plot the number of ted talks that took place each year this is a little uh, tricky so what you need to do is you need to convert the timestamp that is a uh, film data right and you need to pass unit equals to s so it's going to convert unix uh, timestamp into a date time object so here you can see i'm just creating essentially uh, the columns which is going to be appended on the last. So you can see I extracted the year and the month so I can do a data analysis. Then I say df dot uh, film year dot unique. This will tell me how many years of data it has. So so these many years data data set is there inside this. So we have following years in the data set. I can do that. Now I want to see I want to plot year versus the total number of um, TED talks every year. So it's pretty easy. Uh, what I do is basically the X should be the year column and uh, and I just supply the the data the data frame and I essentially do the count plot right so it's gonna count so if I run it oops let me go a little down so here you see a pretty beautiful visualization right we can have a very good idea in the year so it gradually started in the 1972 it started increasing 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 rapidly. Right, so in the 2009, 2009 to 13, it was pretty much the highest, and slowly it started dec decreasing due to some reason. We don't know that reason. So we want to say which month the maximum TED talks were being held. So we can see in the month of February. So I just plot the month uh, count plot. So this tells us that usually the maximum TED talks are in the month of February. A very good analysis. Conclusion: Maximum TED talks are held in the February, right? What were the best TED Talks event to attend? Which are the best TED Talks event to, uh, uh, to attend? So essentially, this was done using two ways. So df.events.valuecount and I take the, the highest value count. So these are the top five uh, TED Talks which had, um, I believe, good stuff. But this is not a good way. So what I do is df.groupby. I group by events. Then I take the views column. I calculate the mean. I sort. I sort it so in an ascending order and I take the last five values. So these are the TED Talks, right? Who gave the maximum talks and in which year it was? So this was pretty straightforward. 
so from df main speaker so i'm going to say value count i'm going to so say the head so going to grab the first three people so here you can see hens hosling has nine ted talks now we want to find in which year he gave those ted talks now it can be a little complicated or tricky so the way we should tackle this is using the following approach this is how i did it so i say df dot main speaker is equal to equals to hans hesling and from that i want to grab the film year so it is going to grab the column film uh, year column i want to do a value count on that and i want to plot it and the plot should be a bar so now we have a nice data so in 2010 he gave 3 in 2009 he gave again 3 and 12 uh, and 2000 12 essentially he gave just one ted talks similarly in the 7 and 2006 this is pretty beautiful analysis right so that's it um by the way this complete analysis is also there on my github account um just to show you so try it out guys the beautiful thing is you know unless you try it unless you're going to sit on computer you're going to spend time you know lonely sit alone do your work and you will get it you will be really good at it that's what i want to say so here you see data analysis of ted talks ted talks and this is the Py ipython notebook so if you just open it you can essentially read the entire uh, notebook right so here you see everything step by step so i hope you have enjoyed it and have questions you can post them in the comment section below and thank you for your love support i want to really thank you everyone i try my best to make the best content um i i really love to teach people and that's how i'm doing it through my youtube channel thank you once again for listening to me patiently and watching this video thank you so much